Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, okay? Um, uh, today we have a very interesting session. We have some practical numerical examples about short circuit analysis, okay? Uh, this first example is related with, uh, with uh, symmetrical faults, okay? Short circuit, three-phase short circuit, okay? And in this very uh, specific example here, we have, um, let, let's see what we have here in the in the presentation, okay? Uh, let's have a, a 50 hertz synchronous generator and it's a 500 MBA 20 KB, okay? We have here a synchronous machine, okay? This is a synchronous generator and this machine is 500 MBA, yeah? 20 kV, okay, and it's a 50 hertz, 50 hertz machine, and this is connected, okay. Um, let's see, uh, and also the um, subtracient reactance uh, direct axis is 0 0.20 per unit, okay. And the generation unit is supplying, uh, it's a single generation unit, it's a single generation unit, supplies electricity, supplies electricity, uh, to a pure receiving load, there is a load here, this is the load, and in this case is 400 megawatts, okay? Power factor equal one because this is a receiptive. And again, is a 20, um, 20 kV, okay? Uh -huh. mm. And suddenly there is a three phase short circuit over here, okay? Okay, interesting. Now we want to know what is the uh, subtracian short circuit current here, okay? Well, let's start with something very simple, okay? What we want to do is we have here um, the equivalent circuit, we have an internal voltage, okay? We have an internal voltage, we have the boost bar, then we have the receptive load, okay? We have the load here. Let's say this is the synchronous generator, and this is the load, and this is the resistance that we have. And when there is load, this is the load current, okay? And I am using here load current, okay? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, power factor one, line to line voltage is 20 kV. And the three-phase power, this is a three-phase power, is 400 megawatts. And when we put the number together, let me check the numbers. Uh, 400, square root three, 20. And that is approximately, yes, 11.54 kiloamps, okay? Good. Now, uh, here you have, here we have the terminal voltage, yeah? The terminal voltage, that is the terminal voltage at this bus bar number one, okay? And mm, we know that previously to default, this volt terminal voltage is equal one per unit zero. Okay? Good. Now um, we need to calculate the base current, okay? And the base current, again, what we are doing is very simple. We are using the rate power of this generator, 500 MVA, divide by square root three, the line-to-line uh, -line voltage. And um, in this case, we don't need here the power factor, okay? We don't need here the power factor, okay? Now, when we put the number together, okay, let's see. It's 500 MBA divided by square root three, 
and divide them by 20 kV and that is approximately 14.43 kilo amps okay we are fine yeah next step okay what i will do now is converting the uh, real current in amps into per unit system and to convert this uh, what i need to do is just divide by the base okay and that is a very basic calculation dividing by 11.54 kilo amps yes the load current is 11.54 and the base current is 14.43 yes that is 0 0.8 per unit okay nice what is the next step okay now uh, now we know here this voltage now we know that this current over here the current is 0 0.8 0 degree per unit okay and now what we want to do is calculate the internal voltage of the synchronous machine okay what we want to do is what we want to do is calculate this internal voltage over here okay i believe all of you can do a simple kirchhoff voltage law and the kirchhoff voltage law say here um, the internal voltage of the synchronous machine is equal to the subtraction reactance multiplied by the load current plus the terminal voltage okay and now what we need to do is put the number together let's check here the terminal voltage is one per unit okay subtraction reactance is data 0 0.20 and the load current the load current is right now 0 0.8 at 0 degree okay and when we put the number together let me check the numbers here we have uh, 0 0.2 j okay and then we have a current that is 0 0.8 and then we have a voltage that is one at zero degree and that is equally numerical equal to this number over here okay one plus 0 0.16 j per unit okay it's fine good now we know what is the internal voltage of this generator uh, okay we are using um, the internal voltage of the generator in this case is equal to yeah okay good now what we need to do is let's calculate the short circuit current okay okay then as you must remember this is the situation previous to the fault okay but during the fault during the fault the situation is a bit different okay during the fault we have here the boost bar number one yeah we have here the resistance the low resistance yeah and then we have here the contribution coming from the generator and here we have a fault okay a three-phase fault this is the subtraction fault current okay and in this side we have the internal voltage of the generator yeah and here we have um okay good now i believe all of you must know that the subtraction component coming from the load it's equal zero because this is a static load uh, I mean, it's just a resistor. Okay. And now you can see that the only, 
current moving here, the fault current, okay? So transient fault current will be equal to numerical equal to the subtraction contribution coming from the generator. And you must remember that here what you need to do is apply simple Ohm's law. Yeah. And that is what we are doing numerically here. What we are doing numerically here is Okay, in this equation, J is missing, but now it's properly done. And let me check the numbers. Let me check the solution. And the full current is correct and correct here. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this this value here, this solution is the subtraction fold current. Okay. Well, as you can see, this is a very simple example. It's just basically calculating the short circuit current uh, at the terminal of this synchronous machine. As you can see, we are using the EMF method. Uh, in the EMF method, you need the previous, the condition previous to the fault, and then you need the condition during the fault. And this is just basic circuit analysis, and we can obtain here the short circuit current. Okay. Uh, something that I suggest is at home you can calculate the short circuit currents in amps. Okay. The short circuit current in amps will be the short circuit current in per unit system multiplied by the base current. And for this very specific case, let's do the following. The short circuit current in amps will be uh, 5.06360 minus 80.9 multiply by the base current and you must remember that the base current was something like 14.43 kilo amps and finally the short circuit current must be equal uh, let me multiply by the base That means that is equivalent to 73.0 a um, kilo amps at 20 kV. Okay. Well, thank you very much, all of you, for watching this video. This was a numerical solution of the uh, short circuit current calculation using the EMF method. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks.